So as we left it, got a different service manual from the United States, a Sam's photo fact, which was more detailed than the manufacturer's manual, and we actually discovered that there was a spring the wrong side of something just there, and the compression spring there was totally missing. So we've put that on, and now I will demonstrate it stacked up on four cans of Heinz vegetable soup. The cartridge on this is the Garrard GC2 crystal cartridge. I've no idea whether it works. And I fitted a brand new GC2 stylus. They're available either in microgroove for 45s or LPs or 78. And there isn't a stereo version. So we've got to make sure we don't play stereo records on this particular player. Uh, or we're going to end up widening the grooves on the records, which is not going to help. You'll probably be aware that the uh, the requirements on styli between stereo and mono is slightly narrower for stereo. Right, so I will just uh, put a record on and we'll show you it silently. So there we are, back on the jig comprising of Heinz soup cans. The robot arm goes across, checks the size of the record, And we've got the set down in the correct place. Now of course it's not connected to an amplifier. And the next video will have the thing hopefully back in the cabinet. Hopefully the cartridge will work. And then we can show you it in working condition with one of our famous B-sides. So I'll just press the reject button. And hopefully it will return. And there you have it, an RC120 Mark II turntable where the turntable was seized, the speed control was seized and the tone arm innards had got bits missing. It now lives again. Thanks for watching.